What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here at Walmart. Walmart is the new best spot, guys, for when I do these Blu-ray hunting videos. But yeah, I'm back at the same Walmart that I went to a few weeks ago that had the steelbook section. So I'm hoping I see some of the newer steelbooks on the shelf that were not present the last time that I went. And hopefully they also have some new releases in stock. So I'm out here, I had to go to Walmart anyway. So I'm like, why not make a video uh, hunting for physical media? I may, guys, I haven't been to a Target in a very long time. I may also uh, go to a Target and see what they have in terms of a physical media uh, selection. I doubt they'll have much, but maybe they'll have something um, over there. And then I may hit up a another location if I have some time. But let's go to Walmart, guys. This might be a quick video. We'll just check out what they got on the shelves, just like last time. And yeah, we're back. Blu-ray hunting trips. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm not seeing much new here, to be honest. Um, I am seeing... Lisa Frankenstein on DVD, and that did come out this week. Uh, that is $14.96, but not seeing the Blu-ray for Lisa Frankenstein, unless it's behind this Iron Claw. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so the Iron Claw was blocking Lisa Frankenstein on Blu-ray. But, yeah, that's the pretty much the only new release that I'm seeing um, in stores, in this Walmart at least. So that, that's at least showing that they are putting out new releases. It's just they don't have all of them out yet, but... We have Wish, we have Wonka, we have Good Burger 2, Migration, The Hunger Games, The Color Purple, The Marvels, The Ferraris, you know, all that standard stuff. Over here on this side, we got Bad Hombres. That's a DVD title. We got The Shamrock Spitfire. I don't even know what that is. Five Nights at Freddy, Thanksgiving. That's, that's all stuff that was here before previous weeks i thought i remember this whole side having blu-rays last time i was in here but maybe that's another walmart that i'm thinking of here's the steelbook section and i don't think they really added anything to the steelbook section either uh children of the corn 4k lost boys trilogy uh winnie the pooh blood and honey that's in the spot of the creep show 4k but the creep show 4k looks like it's down here looks like somebody actually hit it i feel like somebody wanted to come back in here and get it <laughs> Which I will not be getting that today. I've got Creep Show in 4K. I don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. Um, they do have the Silent Night steel book. I don't feel like I remembered that in here last time, which is pretty cool. I know people were worried that was going to go out of stock earlier this year because it was showing it was out of stock online. Um, I haven't heard the best things about that film though, so God, I can't get these to stand up. I won't be picking that up. I would like to get Brawl and Cell Block 99, but I just, if it was 20 bucks, I might get it, but like 30 bucks for that. Again, I already have that on 4K. Um, well, they do have some new stuff. They got Cutthroat Island in here. They got Cutthroat Island. That one came out uh, last week, the 4K Steelbook. So it looks like they are stocking some of the new 4K Steelbooks. We got Man of Steel, The Expendable Steelbook, um, one thing I need to check is my bins. Oh my goodness, they actually have the Mondos. They actually do have some new stuff over here, so I just really wasn't looking. Uh, the Avengers Mondo Steelbook they got in stores. They got Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, uh, Dread Kickboxer still here, which I'm thinking about getting that. I never got that, and I, I do kind of want it. Uh, Hell or High Water, Hunger Games, Dragon Hearts. The Mario still book still here. I should probably get that for my wife at some point. Turtles, Sonic, Hacksaw Ridge. I also need that one as well, but that one's $24.96. Um, WandaVision still book is here. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they had those Marvel still books, Cutthroat Island, not seeing the Rambos. All right, so here is the DVD bin, but I, I've seen and I've heard that some people are digging in these. And they're finding steel books, guys. They're finding steel books. Nice little Van Damme double feature right there. We got the we got the Spot Kids movies. I don't have any of those movies in the collection, so it might be worth getting that. I also don't have the mask in the collection either. I think I got it on VHS and that's it. Um, nice little three pack right there. How far do I have to dig to get steel books? How far? Somebody let me know in the comment section. If I don't find them, I'm just going to keep throwing my hands in there. And when I feel steel, 
I'll, I'll pull it out. <laughs> and so far, I'm not feeling steel. All right, guys. So just now leaving the Walmart. And I guess I'm going to have to try a few. Look, I found the steel book section. Now my quest, my hunt for the $5 steel books uh, begins. So yeah, look, but I was semi impressed with Walmart today. They had one new title on the shelf with Lisa Frankenstein. They had the Cutthroat Island steel book. They had uh, all the Mondo Marvel steel books. So they had some new stuff, but I feel like it was different. I feel like they took down a whole section from last time because where's all the where's all the generic Walmart titles, like the horror titles and the stupid titles that Walmart usually puts out? I didn't see the whole section for those, and I feel like that was on the other side last time, but maybe they're restructuring, they're moving stuff around, who knows, or maybe this Walmart never had that. I, I can't quite remember. But guys, look, it's been a while since I've been to Target. Let's head to Target and see what they got for us. We have arrived to the local targets and i'm excited because i haven't been to this target in quite some time all right so i am seeing night swim here at targets we have the blu-ray edition really nice slip cover really nice feeling slip cover this is from universal this is 22.99 here got multiple copies doesn't look like anybody's picking up night swim today we also got Doom Patrol, the fourth and final season on DVD. The Iron Claws here, Good Burger, Anyone But You, Rick and Morty. Yeah, all the standard stuff. Wednesday's here. I don't think I've seen Wednesday in stores. Season one for $24.99, even though I think that's cheaper on Amazon. Aquaman. I don't know if I've seen Kung Fu Panda out in the wild. That's here on 4K for $24.99. And then the Hunger Games migration, all the standard stuff. Also seeing the new Trolls movie over here on 4K, sing-along edition, $32.99, Blu-ray, $26.99, DVD, $22.99, three-movie collection. We got Priscilla, Dream Scenario. I actually watched this on, I think, HBO. Um, this was pretty interesting. It's got Michael Sarah in it, too. I, I kind of recommend it. Maybe not buying it, but maybe watching it on, on streaming. Uh, Thanksgiving, Holdovers is down there, Titanic on 4K, all the standard stuff it looks like. Hey, at least they got stuff in stock though, right? Uh, <laughs> Asteroid City, 80 for Brady. I got a lot of DVD. This is, Target's starting to look like, like Walmart did a few years ago. Then we got a very small physical media section here on this end cap. And I forgot to mention, guys, I talked about this on the physical media report, but right now it's buy two, get one free on books movies board games puzzles so but i i recommend getting on their website to do the shopping because you're going to find more stuff on there than in stores all right so i guess i'm proud of target for having one new release in stock they had night swim uh walmart had lisa frankenstein so i saw two of the big new releases in store uh this week so i guess that this was a semi-successful trip overall but you know what? I, I always like to go to three locations. Best Buy is like right there. I can see them, but they don't long, they no longer sell physical media. So screw them. I'm not going over there. I am in front of my local game exchange. And I'm just going to go in here, see if I can find some cheap Blu-rays or DVDs. I'll probably only get one or two, but if I can find something cool, like a cool find, a good find... I'll pick it up, but maybe I'll find nothing. Maybe this entire trip will be a complete dud. But you know what? If you guys enjoyed it, it won't be a complete dud. It will have been worth doing. But let's go in here and see if I can find something. Salvage this trip a little bit. Let's do it. And it just has to be raining right now. But yeah, it's been a while since I've been to uh, my local game exchange. I'm looking forward to it. I certainly like a good deal. I do. So this should be fun.
All right, guys, so just got out of the game exchange, and I actually did pretty good. I got some items to show off, so this trip was not all for nothing. I got one Blu-ray, and I've got three DVDs, all for six bucks, because the DVDs were buy two, get one free, and the Blu-ray that I got was $4. So the vast majority, though, guys, of the Blu-ray prices, of the 4K prices, like, you can honestly find, like, almost everything in there for brand new on Amazon for cheaper, like... The prices in game exchange have really gone downhill in the past like five years. I remember it being a lot better in there and they would run a lot more deals like buy two, get one free and stuff like that. But to be honest, like I didn't know it was the Blu-rays too. Apparently it was the Blu-rays when I went up there. They told me um, about that also. But yeah, I was looking to spend a very small amount and I did $6 and I got actually because one of these is a double pack. So for six bucks, I got five movies um, today. So Let's go ahead and go through them. We've got Good Luck Chuck uh, for $4 on Blu-ray. So I thought this was a pretty good deal. I looked it up on Amazon, looked up all the comparable prices. This is going for 8 bucks on a lot of other sites. And then $9.99 on Amazon. This was $3.99 inside of Game Exchange. The case is in really good condition. I definitely try to, to look at that as well. And this is a comedy that I remember watching back in the was it the early 2000s or the late 2000s i think it was like 2009 or something and i like dane cook when he was in waiting but then he started doing all of his own solo comedies i didn't think they were the best comedies in the world and i remember this one being just okay but this is one that i just feel like the state of comedy has just gone so downhill in the past like 15 years that i would probably get a kick out of this one now and would probably enjoy it so i went ahead got this one added it to the collection uh, four dollars guys not a bad deal and then this one guys well i'll show this one last um i went ahead and got this i thought this was pretty funny because you know he had carrie coon on jimmy fallon recently and he was kind of talking down on physical media so i got the two jimmy fallon comedies uh from the early 2000s on dvd and a dvd double pack so i look these up on amazon and this is 20th century fox so this is owned by disney i think fever pitch was going for like 35 dollars on blu-ray and taxi wasn't even listed on there. So there's no tell telling how much that's going for on Blu-ray. But they do both have Blu-rays. But I was like, you know what? Jimmy Fallon, um, he he he's just good enough for DVD. He's just good enough for DVD in my collection. Paid a dollar for this. Got two movies, Fever Pitch and Taxi. To be honest, I don't think I've seen Fever Pitch. I have seen Taxi, though, uh, with Queen Latifah. But I thought that was worth adding to the collection. Both discs are in really good condition. And then I got another horror movie, or not another horror movie, but a horror movie for a dollar. And I looked this one up and was really surprised this one doesn't have a Blu-ray yet. It really should. The original is getting a 4K from Second Sight at some point, and it already has a Blu-ray uh, from uh, Umbrella. But The Hitcher from 2006, the remake, this does not have a Blu-ray, but I went ahead and grabbed uh, this DVD. Now, the only problem with this is that it's full screen, and I'm not a big fan of that. I remember back in the day, like, I wouldn't pick up anything that was full screen. And now it's like, you know what? I'm buying DVD anyway, so I might as well just go all the way um, into the sucky quality and get the, four, the full screen experience um, as well. So, but yeah, The Hitcher on DVD. I can't believe this one doesn't have a Blu-ray, but I went and picked it up. I remember seeing this one in the theaters back in the day. Um, so yeah, I, I'll revisit this one at some point for sure. And then lastly, because they were buy two, get one free, I saw this just hanging out on the shelf by itself. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab that one as well. Master of the Skies with Dana Carvey. And I looked this up and this does not have a Blu-ray either. So I was like, all right, I'm getting Master of the Sky. The case is not in the best condition. That's why I was kind of reluctant to grab it. But the disc inside is in good condition. So went ahead and got the Master of the skies uh turtle 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 uh does anybody remember that but yeah i i i'm happy to have some more dana carvey in the collection for sure I, I feel like he's super underrated as a comedic actor but there you have it guys that is my uh trip for the day we had a good trip we went to walmart we went to target we saw a couple of brand new releases we saw some brand new steel books on the shelf i went to the game exchange i spent a very small amount of money and got five movies. I feel like today was a success. What do you all think? Also, subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on those bell notifications for all future videos, and follow me on all my social media accounts down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.